Hey guys, welcome back to the second part of adding outside garden lights to the house. In the previous part, we went through getting the LED cube lights I got from AliExpress to work with my Quinn LED system. In case you missed that video, you can watch this video first, but if you then want to learn how to do it yourself, check back the previous video and it should explain everything nicely. This video will be mainly about attaching the LED cubes to the wall and, well, what the end result looks like. Most of my cabling inside of the house is still a bit of a mess, but I'll give you a sneak peek at uh, something I've been working on to remedy that. I currently have a prototype in the attic, so stay tuned for that. Okay, let's take a quick look at the end result, but make sure to watch until the end of the video to see all full night shots and the dimming function working. Roll the intro. As I mentioned, let's first take a quick look at, well, basically the finished product. To start off, let's take the electrical cable out of the pipe. We used two and a half millimeter square solid copper core cable. And let's cut the cable to length. You can always cut it shorter, but if you cut it too short, you can't make it longer again. So make sure you have a little bit of slack. Next, we need to make sure that the electrical conduit isn't protruding from the wall. So I use a pair of snips to cut it down a bit so that it's flush with the wall. Once that is done, I take the little faceplate I showed you in the previous video and I thread the cables through the hole and place it on the wall and set some marks to where I need to drill. Use a drill to drill the two holes needed to attach the faceplate. And since the electrical conduit goes back into the wall first before going to the next point, you shouldn't have any issues with drilling into it. Although the lights come with plugs and screws included, I decided to use my own. When you do so, just make sure that the screws will fall flush into the base plate.
using an automatic wire stripper, strip off the last part of the cable to refuel the copper to insert into the connection blocks. Since we prepared the lights in the last video, it's just a case of snipping in the right wires into the right block and connecting the light to the base plate. Make sure the rubber gasket is correctly in place and then use the included allen wrench to wrench the light to the base plate. Last thing to do is to put on the cap and this light is finished. Next, I'll quickly run through all steps again for another light. And here you can see one that is uh, connecting through the electrical cables. As I mentioned previously, we'll be connecting these lights in parallel. So basically it's just connecting uh, all the minus or the plus in their individual blocks. Here are some shots of the lights attached to the house and how the lights look at night. Here's a video of me dimming the lights. I'll first turn them off, then turn them on again at 30%, and then set them to full brightness. And that's it. The lights have been installed and dimming is working perfectly. The lights provide a very pleasant glow and illuminate the house and all the pathways nicely. As promised, I would also show how I hooked everything up inside of the house, but as you can see from the pictures, that is still very much a work in progress. It's functional, but doesn't look all that pretty yet. But I've been working on a plan for that and I call it my LED power board. Here are some shots of a prototype I've created, which is currently running in the attic. I'll be making similar boards for the two other locations in the house, and with that create some order in the current mess. Once I get to that, I'll be sure to make some videos of what the board has and how it's all put together. And with that, I hope you enjoyed another video in my ESP8266 LED lighting project. And as always, more information about Quinn LED can be found in the description below. Questions and comments are also welcome, and maybe consider giving this video a like and subscribing to my channel. Hoping to see you back in a future video. Bye bye.